it's safe to say that everybody knows that Germany makes great firearms, cars, a whole bunch of things. And I encountered German firearms pretty early when I started collecting. But I probably didn't realize how excellent the early rifles were. And I think on my last video we looked at a couple of older 22s and thanks for your comments and responses. I Sorry I didn't get to answer them all yet, but I will. On the table today we have two absolutely superb 22 rifles from Germany. And I'll just make a footnote story. I was over there quite a few years ago visiting one of the better gun making houses. And I was talking to the proprietor and I said, yeah, I have a few German rifles from the war and earlier. And he said, yeah, we don't have any of those rifles over here. And I said, that's interesting. How come? And he said, because you have them all. And I guess what happened was people took the the firearms that they encountered back um, after the war. And and so they're, they're over here. They're on this side of the Atlantic. And I don't know how these came over. That was just a little footnote story. In any event, you've seen my video maybe on the Model 52 Winchester. Excellent rifle. And then you encounter these German sporters. And my goodness, they're made to such a high quality. It's actually hard to compare them to anything else. This one in my hand is a model. I wrote some notes because it's, there's so much information on the rifle, but it's hard to film that. It's a model 317K. And if, if we can, we'll take some pictures and post them. And some of the other things that appear on this rifle are Fluchstahl, um, Krupp Essen. Krupp, I'm sure, refers to the amazing uh, steelworks. I believe it was the Krupp family that started them. And then it says Waffenwerk Zuhl. And other than that, it's a uh, single shot rifle. I'll try not to move it around too much. I, I'm being told that I move the guns and as a consequence the filming is difficult. There's a lot to see with this rifle, which by the way is a single shot. The walnut, you can probably tell already, is very high quality, has some grain to it. Everything's styled properly. The checkering is excellent. As you know, I'm not a student of triggers, but I think it has an excellent trigger and certainly accurate, well, accurate well beyond what one would need from a Sporter 22. You can see the action is open at the top and it has a flag safety, uh, a proper rear sight, the only thing that's missing on this particular rifle is the elevator, which, as you know, is the little piece that sets the elevation or holds the elevation. It's not hard to make those. Sometimes I hand file them. And a high front sight, which is not unusual either when you have um, a lot of calibration on the rear sight. A front sight that has some height to it helps. And you probably know why. Everything else on the rifle, I would have to say, is first class. There's nothing plastic on this rifle. The action is smooth. The system is hard to describe because it's just very simple. You feed a round in, you close the action, and as you close the action, the, the shell is actually held in kind of a carrier, and then, not a full carrier, but when you move the bolt backwards, it's impossible virtually impossible for the cartridge to not come out and as I said it has the flag safety so when this is in this position um, you can still open the bolt but you, you sorry you can't you can't fire the rifle so this one again uh, model 317k we have quite a few viewers in Germany and Austria and I thought I better um, get this out of the vault I've been trying to make this video for about a year I have a couple more um, and I can't remember which one it was. I think it was this one, uh, which is made by BSW, which some of you have written me about BSW. Anyway, I usually take the butt plate off of rifles that I buy. And this one had a very interesting uh, note in German, in that beautiful German script. And I'm trying to get it translated. Uh, there are some letters that aren't familiar to me. But somebody obviously wanted, it's not their name, it's a message of some kind. In any event, 
this one, um, I made some notes here. So it's stamp BSW, which stands for Berlin Zuller Waffen. That's online. There are many markings on it, and the caliber, this part you may be able to tell me about, the caliber is actually noted as 35 divided by 5.6 by 35 RWS. And it shoots 22 <laughs> long rifle, no problem, and short as well. As you can see, um, I was very lucky with this rifle. It has claw mounts, but in a way I was unlucky because I didn't get the claw mounts. But I got the scope. This is the original German 4 power, and it's marked Scoparet 4 power. And I don't know how old this scope is. But whatever they did, they knew what they were doing. It's absolutely crystal clear with that number four reticle, which you may know as the German picket post. Uh, the action reminds me a lot of a miniature Mauser, and I suspect maybe there was another version of this rifle used as a training rifle because the bolt removal is the same. I mean, obviously the action's smaller, but um, I. Try not to fire rim fires because some of you told me that I could break the firing pin. I never actually had that happen, but once you hear something, it tends to stick in your mind. Double set triggers. Now that does not, of course, fire the action. That's just firing the trigger. Uh, but I haven't seen a finer 22 than this one. The condition is not as good as the first one I showed you. But something tells me this is an exceptional rifle, particularly because of the note and I think I can tell who the owner was but um, anyway on here right around here on the action it says not English make and the model number seems to be H D carabiner um, but the the D these are those German letters but I think that I got it right H D carabiner and that's all I can tell you about this. It, you know, it has the kind of like a Springfield, you can cock it with this cocking, cocking knob. The guns are checkered well. Quite a lot of German firearms are checkered on the pistol grip, but not on the forearm. And that's the case with both of these. So hopefully we've been able to film most of the features of this rifle. I measured the barrels, but I forgot to put that on my notes and then I ended up looking at a bunch of other guns for filming so I think this one might be 24 and the other one's 26. Either way they're virtually silent to shoot with my favorite CCI quiet 22 ammo and we'll go back to this one just because it's such a stunning 22 with the finger grooves and the forend. Um, this one has the top ejection and this one as you probably noticed has the has the side ejection. So as far as collectability goes, I can't think of more collectible 22s. There's always the endless appeal of Winchesters and the Model 52 and so on. But if you're looking at something with a further historical value, try to find these. I'm not sure exactly where you would find them, especially with these kinds of claw mounts, which I hope to find someone who can build them and I'm trying to find what you call the feet for these um, claw mounts and making some progress but we'll see. Again everything's steel. I hope that's interesting to you. I thought these are fantastic and meaningful to own. Um, I'll try to get that um, translation done. Is there anything significant? No. Sometimes there's markings or something that people ask me about. No, it just says on the, maybe this is also BSW, I don't know. But Zool, as you know, is a famous gun-making location, S-U-H-L. And I think it remains so today. This is easily the better-looking rifle. But I like the claw mounts and the double-set triggers. So, yeah, please send whatever you know. Um, usually, you're aware of a lot of things that I'm not aware of. Especially if you're in Germany or Austria or Switzerland. I look forward to hearing from you or anywhere. And um, I always say please join me on Patreon and that holds true on this video. And also follow the channel if you can on Instagram. And I hope I have that jingle down pat by now. 
As always, thanks for watching and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Take care out there.